Hello everyone, this is Jordan and in this video we're going to go over um, last week's Divergence University trades. Starting from the top, we only have a few up to here, January 11th, right? Just few trades, but let's go ahead and cover them. Pound cut being the first one, let's zoom in a bit. Pound cut being the first one, um, pretty simple example, pretty straightforward example. The count here could be identified um, easily, at least according to myself. This is how the count goes. And this is where we have a five leg structure. This five leg structure shows the bearish divergence. And once we got the false break there as well, along with this candle, the trigger is in place. Now, whether this is going to provide a short term pullback then continuation up or is going to uh, continue lower afterwards we have no clue what we do know and the facts at that stage are very simple we do have one hour chart intraday um, cycle which is supposed to be completed at least based on the facts that we have at the moment and this is where the attack is coming from and this one paid pretty much uh, immediately with this straight move to the downside Next on the list, actually, the next two trades are losing, but still, um, I would like to go ahead and cover them because in trading, as you know, guys, we, we cannot have all the time just winning trades. This is basically impossible. And the sooner you realize that, the, the better it would be for you because then you're not going to be chasing ghosts and, you know, just trying to do the impossible. All right, so next one is, uh, as I said, dollar cut for dollar cut. The situation is um, pretty much familiar. Now here I would like to go very quickly to the live chart because the daily actually matters a lot. And this is where we basically can see the price is creating divergence for us, right? We have account and overall we can be expecting for this thing to push up and to push higher and hence we can start looking for this potential bullish opportunities um, so going back again to this screenshot as we can see this is january 12th the price started pushing to the upside we have the false break this is where the price is rejecting to continue lower right and we started gaining momentum to the upside this is also the place where this zone was broken and at that moment we want to be looking for pullbacks to be bought double wave down hidden divergence bullish hidden divergence ticking to the upside of course we have a pretty decent level approximately here right the price is close to that zone and from here on we would be expecting this thing to to continue higher so that's overall the idea behind door cut unfortunately after this tiny push to the upside the price immediately pushed lower causing this loss and the third one on the 11 this is Aussie Kiwi sell opportunity this time the four hour chart is in play and here the situation is kind of simple again pretty straightforward we have a five leg structure and this five leg structure according at least to, to the person who was behind it right uh, this is where the end is now in some cases and in some situations the actual count and how exactly you're going to look at it might differ right but that's why we have the stops that's why we have the protections that's why we have uh, practice training and then you're going live so the moment you have passed your training you're ready to rock on and whatever the trader sees in this case should be respected right 
and basically this is where the trigger is caused based on this what we showed just now uh, we have the divergences so on this wave we have the divergence then we have divergence right here we have first false break we have the second false break this is the place where the price attempted to push up a rejection going back below the zone and uh, the trigger is in place now i personally again i'm not saying this is correct and it probably sounds bad because looking backwards um looking at the history it's much easier to go ahead and say i would have done that i would have done this right but the situation here is simple for me for two reasons this swing high was never tested that's the first question mark and the second question mark is for me at least again if this is a five leg structure and this is the fifth wave this fifth wave um, should have an impulsive structure as well and i personally am not able to find that five leg structure in here which for me meant this is probably going to be moving upwards okay but again when you're looking uh, back at it, it it might sound not really realistic it was covered in our live trading room so if you're part of the trading academy club please go back to these uh videos from these dates right here guys and check out the live analysis during when the market was actually there right um and see what kind of arguments we had what kind of techniques we used the count that was used there how it was counted most of all right why was this not counted as five but uh, something else why was expected to continue here all these things they are covered in the video so if you're curious how exactly and why exactly you can go back and check them but let's stay on track this is the divergence university and um we should be talking about du trades here actually this is this is our full list right this is already from 2020 so um again just three trades but we, we can't really force the market if if the given strategy the given method is not providing anything at the moment better stay away guys that's why it's good to have um different strategies and different trading methods in your portfolio because in a week where divergences are not provided right you can be trading uh you can be trading then trend based strategies or you can be trading breakouts again during a trend right so having different different tools for the different market conditions is usually good because when you have diversity in your portfolio you can stick only to the best setups psychologically what happens is if you're trading just one method and this method starts um going into the drawdown right like it gives you bad signals at the moment it goes through this drawdown period um if you're able to filter those and you're trading something else you will not be as tempted to go ahead and trade it okay because if let's say you're trading the end of the fifth wave using divergences by the time you're waiting this uh, clear market structures to develop you might be trading something else you might be trading buys here with srs for example right and then you stop trading buys because you see this cycle is showing you signs that it's finished then you want to start looking for divergence trades for example to trade this kind of move but if you're trading only divergences then people are tempted to start selling here um you know just not not the optimal scenario that could be in general so diversification works this way as well in purely psychological manner i'm, I'm not talking about diversity in terms of uh, spreading the risk across different uh, assets or markets but also different trading strategies so I'm leaving you with that think about it um, if you have any questions make sure to leave us a comment below or if you're part of the divergence university um, members right in the club 
you can find us in the telegram groups we will be happy to to reply all your questions live in telegram have a wonderful week and i'll see you next time bye for now